Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about UFC rising stars to watch out for in 2021. Whether these are new fighters that are about to make their debut, or going up the ranks, or established fighters that have some big matches coming up, we're going to be discussing all the rising stars who have potential to become the next big thing in 2021. If you want to know who these fighters are, stay tuned. Before we begin, if you enjoy content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications if you want to be the first to know about my next video. Alright, let's get into it. Here are UFC rising stars to watch out for in 2021. Number 1. Amanda Rebus Rebus' current record in UFC is 4-0, and, oh, and in her first two months, she earned two wins. She grew her winning streak to five with a pair of impressive wins during her sophomore season. In March, she outworked divisional stalwart Ronda Marcos in Brasilia, earning scores of 30 to 26, 30 to 25, and 30 to 25 against the Ultimate Fighter semifinalist. Four months later, she ventured to flyweight and beat Paige Van Zant in just two minutes, showing off her impressive groundwork and maintaining her dominant streak. Rebus was initially supposed to fight at UFC 256 at the end of 2020, but is now set to perform in the new year with two opponent switches. The 27-year-old is now set to face Brazilian Marina Rodriguez at UFC 257 definitely a rising star to watch out for. Rebus currently stands one spot behind Rodriguez at number 9 in the strawweight rankings and is a black belt in judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. She prepares for her fights alongside the American top team at Coconut Creek, Florida. If Rebus continues to fight this way, she'll be on her way to the top 5 in 2021, provided she beats her next opponents. Number 2. Bryce Mitchell Mitchell, also known as Thug Nasty Inside the Octagon, kicked off his UFC run with a victory over Tyler Diamond in the bronze medal match at the TUF 27 finale, and then finished off the year by beating Bobby Maffett and Matt Salas. Mitchell hit the second twister submission in history on Salas and had everyone noticing the 26-year-old Arkansas native, and he did not disappoint. At UFC 24, he outgrappled black belt Charles Rosa and followed it up with a unanimous decision win over Andre Feely. He is already in the top 15 of the featherweight ranks and is known as one of the best grapplers in the division. And his toughness and grit make him more intimidating to his opponents, making him an even better fighter. With more fights in the octagon, Mitchell is sure to develop into an even more skilled fighter and win more fights with his talent and precision. The featherweight division is filled with more talent than ever, which means even more tough fighters for Mitchell in the future. But looking at how much success he's gained so far, he's set to gain even more success in his future. And we're looking forward to seeing where Mitchell ends up in the future. Number 3. Calvin Qatar Qatar is also part of the featherweight division, so Mitchell has some competition, but so does Qatar. Originally from Methuen, Massachusetts, he spent the end of 2020 recovering from his loss to Zabit Magomed Sharapov, but bounced back in UFC 249 with his knockout win over Jeremy Stevens, as well as a polished technical win over Dan Eag on Fight Island. Even though it took Qatar a while to reach the octagon, he's been defeating opponents and winning many fights, building momentum since 2017. He beat fighters such as Andre Feely, Shane Burgos, and Ricardo Lamas. He's not in the media much, but rather lets his training and hard work speak for itself, which is more than a lot of UFC fighters and athletes can say nowadays. He handles all his business inside the cage, and in 2020, it showed that all his hard work and dedication paid off. Qatar has exceptional boxing training, and is good at striking, and is at his peak at 32. We're excited to see where he goes in 2021. Number 4. Cyril Gain In the span of 18 months, the 30-year-old French fighter has gone from making his UFC debut to finishing a former title holder, Junior DeSantos, at UFC 256, as well as posting a 4-0 record with three finishes, showing that he's a great heavyweight contender and skilled fighter that deserves to have the public's eyes on him. Gain looks and works differently than most UFC heavyweights, bouncing on the balls of his feet floating around the outside until he's ready to attack, and showcasing fluidity and flexibility that is almost unbelievable as he is over 6 foot and just over 250 pounds. But hey, he's had incredible training and it shows. The reason Gain is on this list is that he's made an impression in 7 fights and only just over 3 years as a mixed martial artist. If it took this little time for him to become noticeable for his skill and talent, we can only imagine what he'll be doing in the future. He is already 
already a top five fighter in the UFC heavyweight division, and considering how well he's done in previous fights, we're definitely going to be seeing more of him this year. Number five, Corey Sandhagen. After pushing his record to 5-0 with a trio of victories in 2019, Sandhagen was paired with contender Aljamain Sterling in a potential eliminator on Fight Island at UFC 250. And the fight lasted only about 90 seconds. Sterling immediately took the 28-year-old's back and secured the fight ending choke. Four months later, he was paired with former title challenger Marlon Moraes, and Sandhagen earned a second round stoppage victory over the Brazilian after putting him on his back with a spinning wheel kick early in the middle frame. Getting stopped by Sterling could have been very demoralizing for Sandhagen, but he got back up and dusted himself off and delivered an impressive performance the next time he was put in a fight, which solidified his place as one of the top fighters on the bantamweight ranks. If he keeps going this way, he could be fighting for a championship gold by the end of this year. We're looking forward to seeing where 2021 takes him. Number 6. Kiri Prochaska Prochaska made his UFC debut at UFC 251 and immediately established himself as a fine contender in the light heavyweight division, securing a second round stoppage win over former title challenger and top 10 fixture Vulcan Ozdemir. Prochaska is 28 years old and from the Czech Republic and has now won 11 consecutive contests, 10 by the way of stoppage. He has a sort of awkward, unconventional style and a lot of power in his hands, but he has become a must-see attraction every time he competes, specifically due to his immense strength and wins. He will be competing against a few more established names soon, and is currently waiting for an opportunity to challenge current champion Jan Blockowitz. If he wins more fights, he's sure to make it higher in the ranks of his division and put him on the road to competing for the light heavyweight title before the year is out. Number 7. Joaquin Buckley Buckley became a viral sensation last year when he landed a jumping, spinning back kick on Impa Kasanage that looked like something straight out of a fighting game or martial arts movie. Having the athleticism and confidence to do this trick was impressive in itself and showed off his talent, but his clean landing and reaction from the audience made it a watch-worthy moment of 2020. He also defeated Jordan Wright with a set of smooth, powerful tandem hooks just 18 seconds into the second round of their fight at UFC 255. As much as 2020 wasn't completely successful for Buckley, his talent shines through and we know that he will be turning more heads in 2021 if he continues to fight the way he has been fighting in the last few months. The 26-year-old made his UFC debut in August against Kevin Holland. With just five days notice and only eight days after earning a second round stoppage win over Jackie Gosh under the LFA banner. At this rate, he is surely heading to the top of the middleweight division as he defeats everyone else in his way with his skill, talent, and precision. We're excited to see what he brings to the table in his sophomore campaign in 2021. Number 8. Marvin Vittori The 27-year-old made the most of his first main event opportunity, stepping in on short notice to face Jack Hermanson in December and picking up the biggest win of his career thus far. Over the course of just 25 minutes, the rising star grappled and outstruck his opponent, pushing his winning streak to 4 and making himself part of the top 10. Vittori is known as a fiery and fierce competitor who always believed he was one of the best middleweights in the world. And looking at his streak and his previous victories, that definitely appears to be true. He has been in UFC for about five years and his achievements in 2020 have definitely proved him to be a fighter worth watching and keeping track of. If he maintains his victories, he is definitely on the road to a championship soon. And finally, number nine, Sadiq Youssef. This is another member of the featherweight ranks working his way up to the top. Youssef, only had one appearance in 2020, but he definitely made it count, collecting a unanimous decision win over Andre Feely at UFC 246. He was supposed to compete for a second time in October against Edson Barboza, but was forced out of the contest for undisclosed reasons. Now sporting an 11-1 record overall, he has been one of the most impressive contenders so far, gaining many wins but showcasing his smooth technical striking that led him to many of his victories. He's currently at number 10 in the rankings, but will no doubt move up in 2021. While he's gaining valuable experience in the octagon against other talented members, we're looking forward to seeing where this rising star ends up in 2021. And that concludes today's list of 2021 UFC fighters to watch out for. If you have any others, please let us know in the comments below. And please remember to like and share this video if you want to see more content like this. If you want to be the first to know about my next upload, please subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.